Hey guys, we heard the name show with Andy Wood, and um, you actually just literally five minutes ago became acquainted with the Ditto X4 for the first time. Yeah. And I was quite impressed. You pretty much nailed it. <laughs> it was super intuitive. Like once you said, describe the uh, loop one and two, which I will let you describe because oh, yeah. I'm not wordy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, so basically the two loops, uh, you, there's two modes, but you have two loopers in there. And in one of the modes, you can basically switch between them. So you can like a verse and a chorus or, you know, a, a part and a B part. Which is innately where my brain went, right? Yeah. Because like when I've used loopers, I've, I've been working with just me and a singer or something like that. And then if uh, human error sneaks in and say a Should singer doesn't come in, uh, you've already committed to the loop, yeah. right? So that's, you know, have to turn it off and then my loop goes away. It's not cool. With this way, it's like I can hold it until they get done flirting with the girl that they're <laughs> talking to and wants to come back and sing the chorus. Now the chorus is there. So it's that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. So um, do you use loopers a lot? Um, Usually for small environments like that, um, when I'm not out touring with like grandiose adventures, <laughs> I still like to play at home in, in bars and clubs and yeah. just do duo gigs yeah. or whatever just for fun. So uh, with you know with that said, like I want to have just a duo and the singer may not be a player. Yeah. And that's where my looper yeah. thing comes in. I don't do anything crazy percussive looping, no. but just enough to provide a yeah. backing track so I can solo over it. <laughs> cool. So... Um, can you play a little ditty? Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 